Hey ladies and gents, this is Andrew here at Franklin's Garage. I'd like to welcome you all to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Um, this is just a Porsche 911 turbo motor. I just finished it up for it. Um, it's going to be going into this bad boy right here. I didn't, I didn't do a video or nothing like that along the builds of it because, well, it took me forever to figure out all the parts and pieces and everything else like that because it goes from that and there and this is what this one's all about so but what we're going to do this time around is we are going to head to a barn that's where we shall go i have a few of them so let's go check one out haven't been there in a while hope you all are having a good day good evening good night Sorry about the loading process. Takes a minute. But while we're sitting here waiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel here. Alright, here we are at the barn. Let's see what we can find. Is there anything over this way? Oh, there's something. Ooh, GT40. Hmm. What do we got here? It's got 184,000 miles. It's only 2,300 pounds. That's not bad. Ooh, $42,000. Ouch. I'm just going to keep cruising. Ooh. Gen 4. I like these cars. Hmm. Probably 30,000. 15, that's not bad. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to buy this car. Bring it to the garage. Well, throw it on the back of a flatbed. Can't put a supercharged motor on this. Huh. 14 inch wheels, eh? Wonder what it would look like with 15s. I don't know. What's the cost on it? We're asking 16,000 for it. I wonder if it runs or does it need oil? Let's take a little peek see. Of course it needs oil. Of course, of course. Wouldn't be right if it didn't. Well, it's got the oil pan, but I can't add oil to it. But, close the door, leave it the way we found it. Hmm. Went to the junkyard a little while ago, and there was like nothing in there at all. I mean, like, there was two cars in the entire thing. I want that or no? Nah, I think we'll just stick with the Camaro for now. Alright, back to the garage we go. Don't forget to drop a comment and let me know what you think of the videos. Your feedback can help me improve my content. I'm thinking with the the Bolt Hornet or the Gen 4 Camaro. I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to do a supercharged LS motor in it. Should crank out about uh, 12 to 1300 horsepower. I know this because I built a few of them, and uh, they're nice cars when they're done. Swap it with the Porsche when we get there. 
and one of these videos we got to finish the BMW Pro Car or M1 Pro Car and uh, yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring her over to the car wash get her all nice and spiffy I'd say I don't like dirty vehicles in my shop but I haven't really done anything with the BMW yet so All right, time to make this body shine. Well, the best we can anyway. Hey, look, it's a Gen 4 Bumblebee. Huh. Actually, all the parts are, all the panels are here. Huh. I could probably fix them all. Keep the car the original color. Hmm. Roll the, M, the 911 out and put this one in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all these off. Put a new windshield. Headlights and taillights in it. condition is the frame in not bad 60% the interior 90% Whew. huh that's okay we'll make that frame go up to a hundred all right let's fix some body panels Perfection. Put this thing all back together. Put this back where it goes. Look at that, all nice and spiffy new. Woohoo! Yeah. We'll have to go for paint. So I'm going to be putting new glass. What the? Get out of there. I'm going to put new glass in. New headlights, new taillights. First things first. This motor's got to go. Won't run anyway. Don't got to worry about changing the oil or taking the oil out of it because, well, there's no oil pan on it, so. what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna buy all the engine parts that we need for it actually what kind of air box is it just an air intake uh, okay that's the style what are you I don't know why I bought that I don't need it however I do need uh, where is it? There it is. I need the OHV cam gear. I'll keep a cruising. I believe it's this one. Let's just double check since I'm in here. Okay. See, there's no coolant tank, but okay, it is B. I also need four of these. Ah, wrong one. Try again next week. Now we also need that CGM crankshaft. Or, and then we need the pulley for it, which actually I think I already have one, but we'll buy another one anyway. And now we need the block, which is right here. Perfect, look at that. Beautiful. I'm not buying the heads here, I'm buying them from... Yeah, the performance shop. 
Alright, what are we looking for here? Where is all the fuel tanks going? Oh, way up here. Of course. And I also need the... Wow, I'm skipping everything. Where's the CGM? There's one. And there's two. One would think it's the first time me doing this. Alright, oil pan. Wait, uh, are you? There you are. Now, this motor requires the hemi piston. So, the eight hemi piston rings. I probably don't need one of these, but we'll buy one anyway. Uh, it requires a special type of rocker. Not the regular one. For the roller camshaft that's in it. Rod caps are all the same on every motor. Hmm. I need this belt. CGM supercharged. And I need belt B CGM right there. Perfect. No, I'm not buying it from here. Uh, timing chain. It should be right here. Timing chain cover. Right there, look at that. Went right on it. Perfect. Now the push rods. These ones have their own. Need 16 of them. Perfect. And now we need the water pump. There you are, right there. And the water pump pulley, which I believe it's just the standard one. Yeah. Perfect. Now we go over here. Buy that and that. I'm going to drop down here. Buy an air filter. Uh, I think it's this alternator. I could be wrong, but pretty sure it is. Well, I need to buy one camshaft for this motor. A measly little 1.5% increase. Not a whole heck of a lot. I need stage 3 computer. And we need the heads. Where are the cylinder heads? Uh, there's one. And two should be right here. Uh, let's look for the exhaust manifolds. Uh, pretty sure it was on this page. Which then I'd be wrong. There they are right there, right in the bottom middle. Two of them. Now we need the fuel rails. I need two of these. these. These motors got their own special coils. I need eight of them. And the intake. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, I need, oh not that. We need this. And... Uh, pretty sure it's this one, or it might be that one. That's by both of them. Splurge a little bit, shall we? I mean, eight plugs. And we need this supercharger right here. Wow, that's expensive, eh? 4500 With my discount, I get it for 3825 I mean, this throttle body. Oh, don't need that. I need this clutch, this pressure plate, and this flywheel. And since we're in here, let's buy a transmission. This one right here is for the C8 VET, the rear engine, rear, rear engine rear wheel drive VET. This one right here is for just the front end, like 
the rear-wheel drive front engine cars. Alright, we got that. Uh, I need that, I need that. Probably don't need that, but we're going to get it anyway. I need this. I need that. Uh, Alright. Perfect. Let's yank this bad boy out. Wow, look at all the room for activities. Cool, coil spring rear end. Nice. It's got struts in the front of this. Alright, do we want to paint this? Hmm. Nah. Oh, I yanked this off. Oh, turn it over. I'm going to put that motor in here. Oh, we got a couple motors to put in here. Huh. Now we can build what we're looking for. Right there. V8, OHV, CGM, supercharged. I gotta flip this block over and make it a little easier to put the crank in. Center first, keep it centered. What? I didn't buy no crank shaft caps? Sheesh. Huh. Oh, there it is, way over here. I do these in different pattern styles, but normally I always try to put the center one in first. Now I'll do the front. And then I do the last one. Because I always start putting the pistons in at the back side of the motor, so. Thankfully, the rod bolts that put the, that attach the caps to the connecting rods are not that big, so it shouldn't take that long to put all eight caps on. And little bolts. And when it comes to that Porsche motor, I'm actually probably going to take it all apart and paint the uh, pieces to it. And when I do that, I'll probably make a video of doing that. That way then, see it disassembled and reassembled. But there's a lot of pieces on that motor. Like I said, that motor is all new to me. I ain't never built one of them before. These ones, as you can tell, I've built them a few times. Really comfortable with them. Except for some of the other parts, it's... I forget. Probably didn't need that, but I need that one. Alright, flip this rotating assembly around. Before I put the heads on and put the push rods in, I'm going to slide the camshaft in. Perfect. Cylinder head B first. I'm going to start putting the push rods in. put the push rods in first and then I put the rocker rounds on after. One, two, eight per side.
be nice if they actually put the wires in. Go from the, the coils to the plugs. It would be nice. Fold on this side, and then this side's done. Hey, look at that, they get it right. The alternator don't go on until we put this head on because it's the one that takes the bracket. It's grateful there's no AFM DOD. Active fuel management or displacement on demand. I'm glad this motor doesn't have it. I know my 2013 has it. And what that means is when you're driving, it actually cuts out four cylinders. You're only driving with half the motor. If you don't, if you're not on and off the throttle and you keep it consistent, it takes out, uh, I believe it takes out two, three, four, and five. No. Five, six, four, and three. Pardon me. And I mean, it, it's okay if you do a lot of highway driving and stuff, but driving around the city in the town that I live in, I literally use the throttle to get me in or to get me out of situations that would otherwise be an accident. See, my '91, it was drive-by cable. Like there was no drive-by wire in it, so. And what drive-by-wire is, is it's computer-controlled throttle pedal. And those are garbage. You have a delay, because it's got to go from your foot to the computer to the throttle body. And... Yeah, it's not that responsive, but at the same time, it is responsive. It's, complicated, it's a complicated situation. Versus my 91, you, you touch that throttle, just breathe on it, and... You know, you're going the speed. Versus the 13. Me, eh, not really a fan of it. I'm really not. But it was my dad's truck, and he passed away in October of 2022. So, I don't think I'd be able to live with myself if I actually sold it. So, Stays in the family. I'll fix it. I'll end up putting a DOD delete kit in it or AFM delete kit in it, and eventually putting changing it from drive by wire to drive by cable. I do have the throttle body here. I could use. Just gotta get the computer tuned. And it should work, in theory, anyway. Belt B. Now we put the intake on. Shiny chrome. Mine looks just as chrome. Actually, mine's better because mine's smoother. Now put the Uber charger on. This big long belt on. Perfect. Look at that, that's beautiful. The fuel rails and then the throttle body on and I believe we are actually finished with the motor. What did that take me like ten minutes? Five, ten minutes? I don't know, it took me a little bit of time. Alright, perfect. On to the next. Uh, anybody remember what the um cross member was? C, right? Yeah, C and A. And this should be sway bar is normal. Uh, you got C, and the rest of it's all pretty much normal. I'll come back here, check these. Okay. I need two of these, two of those, I need two of these. Or am I putting the wrong pipe on? Dang it, I did it again. These ones. One day I'll pay attention. I really won't. 
but you know let's make myself believe that I will I need the rear muffler V8 not B it's a regular V8 perfect now we need brake rollers four of them yeah we'll go with these ones and it's gonna produce some power but it's not gonna be like oh my god what the you know ain't gonna be like that so don't need any of those I need two of these two of these two of those something along these lines I need two of these uh, two of those because it's coil spring rear once again I need shock absorber B uh, these two because it's disc uh, if it's the rear engine cars you use these ones if it's the either coil spring or leaf spring if it's got disc brakes you use the B if it's got or if it's got drum brakes you use the B if it's got disc brakes you use the C almost screwed that one up and the rear cross member rear wheel drive you use this same as the just regular rear cross member it's a complicated process ah I just bought leaf springs for no reason Ugh. and that's okay I forgot a part right here uh, all right here we are back here and two of those two of those two of those one of these two of those uh, uh, two of these definitely two of those I need two of those I need four of these four of those and four of these as well pretty sure I don't need that but we'll buy it anyway and the wheels let's see what do we got for wheels on this thing uh, how does it look? There's 16s, I know that, so if we were to keep them 16, they're 235, so we can keep the fronts 235. Actually, I do have something like a big wheel. Let's do a little bit of mix and matching here, we shall see. Uh, let's try this one on there, see how it looks. Oh, we can go a little bit bigger. 285 makes it flush. So, where to go? Three oh five fifty five sixteen. That could probably work out. All right, sixteen inch wheels. Let's see. And I'm not ready to use the Porsche wheels on it yet. These Beamer wheels, they. Eh? I'm not understanding what the difference is between the three of them. Huh. Yeah. Maybe I'll save them for a rainy day. And we will actually use. Uh, where are they? Hello, wheels. There they are, right there. Four. You know what? We're going to do. 18s and then for the rears how big was that Two eighty-five, thirty, twenty. 30 20 huh it was 20s whoops so I can actually go 305 40 18 cool I hope it works. I hope it's the right size. Forty eighteens for the rear. 
it'll go 218, 235, we'll go 50s for the front. Now these wheels are already chrome, so I don't got to run back and forth. Maybe I do. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not, not shiny enough. I like shiny shiny. Shiny where they can see it from outer space. That's the way I like it. Oh, wall. I hurt. Walls are always getting in the way. I don't know why, but they are. Gotta go through all the suspension. Page 12, 13. See what I mean? Nice and shiny, shiny. <laughs> now we're. Oi! Wrong one. Almost done, almost done. Yay. This time we're gonna think with different color for the car. Instead of my assortment of an array of colors there, I'm gonna choose a color that actually comes on the car. We run in here, we're gonna do the springs real quick, put the struts together. A little bit shinier. Yeah, it might be a little too big. Why rear springs for it, didn't I? I can't remember. I'm always forgetting something. some newer-ish parts on this car. Hmm. hmm. No 
the sway bar lines. How nice is that? No bearings either by the looks of it. Ah, what are you doing? Get back there. Nope, no bearings. Well, I'm going to be bearing gifts here in a minute. because there was no sway bar link on the passenger side. It's kind of funny. Like I said, you can hit the dyno with no body panels on it, you can hit the track with no body panels on it, but do not forget a bushing. And the dust cap and uh, And the sway bar link, and it would have might have been able to put a wheel on it. Not anymore. All right, I think that's pretty much it for under the car, right? Yep. Now's the assembly process. couple days I'm going to be posting an actual video of me driving around my town that I live in. Uh, be an IRL video. For those who don't know what that means, it means in real life. Um, see if I can't show you guys on how crazy it is to actually drive in this little town. Wasn't for my reflexes, I get hit at least. I get hit at least every time I went out. But my guardian angel sits on my shoulder and rides with me. He's able to keep up with me. So, because it's winter time, I don't really drive all that fast. So, kind of take it easy. Summertime, well, that's a different story. I have a heavy foot. Ooh, it will fit. Look at that. That almost fits perfect. Sticks out just a bit. Not much, but just enough. Guess it would help if I had it on install mode, right? Sorry about that guys, I had to, and girls, I had to cough. I don't feel it's right to be coughing in the microphone, so. On to the front. Like I said, I've done, I've built this car. Ooh, I need more bushings. 
Yeah, need more bushing. I need 50 of them, please. Perfect. That should be enough to do. And as a rule of thumb, I'm pretty sure I said this in a different video, but if it's the strut front end like this one is, normally it's always just a plain old sway bar. If it's the uh, coilover shocks, then it's normally sway bar B. Normally. It's not always the case, but as a rule of thumb, that's normally the way it works. That's okay, they're right here, so I'll grab, I'll pick two of them up. Like I said, I gotta love my parts guy. He's here instantly. It's almost like I got a parts store right next door or something. Looks like it fits too. Beautiful. Not sure about turning radius, but that means to turn when you're going in a straight line. Oh no, I only got 46 bushings left. good actually this is a tight squeeze thing is done. Alright, assembly part now. The C's. Then the B's. The A's already in. That was pretty easy. You see you. I'll throw the battery in. What the heck, eh? Go over here. ABS. 
Here we have this module. Got the six little baby bolts in. The coolant tank. Power steering tank. Windshield washer fluid reservoir. The radiator. And then the electric phone. I don't have one, of course not. This one and radiator fan housing. Wow. Stick to the program, man. Awesome. I think before, what we're also going to do is we're going to get all the glass, the lights. Look, I'm missing the window here. I think maybe we'll paint it at the beginning of the next episode. When I start working on the BMW uh, that one. Alright, perfect. It's time to go get the motor. Whew, this thing's heavy. This guy must be stretch uh, this guy must be like a tough guy or something. Look at that, it fills it up so nice. Now I put the fluid in. Perfect. There's a coolant now. steering and sometimes it's easier to do it without the uh, windshield washer fluid in here Make sure. Yep, perfect. Okay, close that down. Oh, nice, doesn't poke through. Now, what we're gonna do is interior. I look for the home net right there. And where is my trusted handy dandy seats? There they are, way up over here. I'm going to put in a Mosquito MK5. Bad boy up.
Let's quickly see how much horsepower it makes. My guess is around 1200 ish. Eleven hundred, but that's because it needs tuning. It's a nice looking car. Well, that that concludes our video for today, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I hope to catch you on the next one. Have a good night. Bye.